was amazing. <laughs> that was the best two chord that? That jam like, ever. Or three, but okay, fair enough. There was a little one in the end there, but we don't count that. That was great. Yeah, that well, was look, amazing. Hopefully you guys throughout wow. that video, um, you got a, a taste for what some of the new features on these guitars are. Uh, these are the new 2020 or some of the new uh, guitars that we're going to get in 2020 from Paul Reed Smith. Oh, um, quite Glory. a few new features. Uh, welcome return of a couple of models, the, the regular McCarty there. I love this single cut uh, 594 McCarty. You know, that the is real probably big, my favorite of the three of these, yes. I must admit, even though we've got a beautiful private stock yeah. one there in the and, middle. And um, basically, Paul just sent us these three guitars. They're all prototype guitars, or as we, you know, we were arguing earlier, what is prototype? But basically, these are these are kind of like the, the very first ones just been sent out to, to sort of yeah. see what everybody thinks. Yeah. But, but they're, they're exactly the same spec as is coming. I, I, again, don't want to go over all the features because you've seen all that, hopefully annotated during yeah. the jam, but Too what do you think, Pete? Well, so I was watching a video uh, that Tim Pierce, the legend, uh, the, legend. the legend that is Tim Pierce, and if you don't know Tim Pierce, please go oh. check him out on his channel because he does tuition. You will know Tim Pierce because you probably, chances are about 50% of all the music you own, he's probably played on. <laughs> probably, <laughs> it was probably yeah, him. Yeah. Let's go and check his channel out, it's yes. amazing. Um, and him and Howard Lees, uh, were comparing the Les Paul uh, mainly to the um, to the single cut there, yeah. and it's quite an interesting video. But we thought we we, we talked about it. Should we do that? I yeah, don't... that that's the sort of. I mean, when you get a guitar like this, the full fatness yeah. mahogany body, maple top, two piece, you know, bridge and tail piece, two humbuckers. You know, everything is just like it's lamborghini you know, I, I it's ferrari it's it? ferrari versus lamborghini it's it's <laughs> kind of obviously a nod particularly when ted mccarty designs it yeah you know if you don't know so him just google it's a nod towards um the ted uh, a classic uh, yeah. gibson les paul and yeah. howard lee's of bad company has uh, in the video he does with tim pierce he brings his 59 les paul in which i've got to say is probably the most mint 59 les paul it's i've pretty mint. ever I was seen looking at it going, for a guitar that's 60 years old yeah um and they're kind of shooting it out and, and they're sort of going, oh, this sounds better or da 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 da. And I, I was a little bit uncomfortable in that because it's, a, it's a, you know, any use of the word better is subjective. Yes. You know, um, and, I, and I'm, I think I'm in the camp where I want to appreciate these guitars for what they are yeah. without necessarily feeling like I have to make a choice between, oh, you know, do I like this yeah. one or this one, you know, because I, I got inspired then. I was yeah. I was finding notes. I was getting some of that natural feedback coming in. I was like, oh, I really like this. But I equally know I could pick up my Liz Paul and like lose myself and love that as Absolutely. well. So I don't want to. But I think Tim Pierce as a session guy, um, which we also talked about before, is that I think there is something about these guitars that lends them so a lot to the session thing mm. they've got that natural feedback they've got much more you know where Les Paul you can hear immediately there's in Les Paul mm. you can hear this, it's one of these as well but I think there's just more in them such as like this and the, the pickups are voiced differently and I definitely think the thinner bodied customs so if you look on the side here and you know that that's the sort of regular depth of a custom yeah. from PRS that's the, the fatter depth yeah. of, the, of the single cut and I'm sure you know the, the the bridge, the different bridge will have something to do with it as well, and and yeah, because um, they always there's there's something if you want to watch all this thing, they, they go through it. Yeah, to, so to go go, go, go through. I mean, I, I think you'll hear that the the single cut sounds a little fatter, and I, and I, but I think the custom, the the McCarty that you've got here, any any PRS with with the traditional custom style body on it, I think has very much that sort of PRS voice. It's a, got a little bit more of a pronounced kind of mid-range with a little bit less bass end, I think, than a, than a Les Paul. Yeah, I mean, um, you can't but, really compare. Uh, is it apples when, and oranges? When people, uh, I think you put it really well yesterday when you said it's, it's a Lamborghini. But shall I take the Lamborghini today or shall I take the Ferrari today? Mm. Because they're both top, mm. top guitars, you know. Yeah. So that is a decision I have to make every single morning. And it's just like... Uh, I'm uh, like, is it the Kia yeah. or is it the Citroen? You know? <laughs> that's more like... That's more like that's a, is, is it the one Shall I get the number nine bus old? or the number 12? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, come on. Uh, let's go, go through the... Um, yeah. Let's so, go through some towns. It's uh, very, very cool sounding guitar. There you go. You know? Yeah. It's 
those overtones, which yes. I, which I, I don't really that this, these guitars give you those. There, there's a good one. Can you hear it? Yeah. That, and that's, that I don't know how pronounced that is for you isn't guys. Isn't that the thing like, that John Mayer was talking about in his video that to, unless you've got a proper valve amplifier, the modelers can't don't they don't the, cope with yeah, that. The modelers the can't do it, and it's exactly this. And I seem to when I anyway. play anyway. We're Another not video. Talk, other video. But if I played with my finger, it's much more pronounced. If I played with a pick, it's still there. But it, the softness of that mm. bloom. Oh man, I sound such a nerd. I'm such a nerd. Uh, anyway, so let's just pull. Because this is something that Les Paul doesn't have. There's a few, on this, yeah, uh, absolutely. You've got the coil, the tap, coil tap, tap, yeah, absolutely. Um. You see that split oh, kind sounds- of thing? Anyway. Sometimes I love to hear loads of pedals, yeah. and other times I just want to hear a really good guitar in, into in a an really amp. good valve amplifier. Exactly. And it's like, ooh, That's like a DP40. 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 Yes. Uh, okay. But, and, and then, if you, if you think it's a little bit bright, you just turn down the, mm. the tone. And they if you were, want to do it with a big... Uh, my favourite single coil sounds on this were with the tone back down a little bit. Yeah, just back it down a little bit because it, it tends to... it up a bit. You know, as we said before, personally, I'm not a massive fan of split, of, of, a, of a split humbug. Yeah, humbug because yeah. I don't think it completely sounds like a it single doesn't. coil. And I don't think it does because it is just not that. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not like the balls. Well, I think Fender have got an interesting thing, haven't they? Where with, they've got this double tap humbucker where it splits the coil. So you're only hearing one coil, but there's some part of the other one still compensates and it does fatten it up. But that's that's a, one of those holy grail guitar things, isn't it? How do yeah, you get how a humbucking pick up to sound I, like a single And I must admit on the, on the Paul's versa. guitar mm. that uh, Paul so lovingly too. and very mm. gen, uh, generously gave me, uh, that literally splits it into a single coil. Mm. It, and that's, and that get, the level of the two is, is you know, mm. as close as it can get. Anyway, uh, let's go in the middle position, see what happens there. And that's where you want to dial the tone down a bit, right? And it'll still do... It's just good, isn't it? It's a little bit of... The, I've dialed up the volume a little bit on the dance, so it gets yeah. a little bit of hair. Back pickup. Check that out. Woo! And that's with everything on full. Again, back it off a bit. That's very. That I think right if you had some face, gain on it and you were doing a lead solo would be exactly yeah, but that, we the can, tone we can you'd want. Yeah, we can certainly try. What exactly. do we want to put on there? Might want to put a little of that. I'll turn it down a bit because I thought it might be better. Yeah. I think you can go a bit more. That was a little yeah, uh, I mean, DD two hundred delay. Let's let's these two guitars basically are the same um, spec instruments. This is a private stock one, so yeah. if you're familiar with the PRS lineup, it's kind of like his uh, custom shop thing where 
I mean, this this one is beautiful. It's got the. Yeah. Oh, we don't need to play no, that. It's I, like I didn't even mean to touch no, that. No, but we'll just see it, if you just do a quick shot of the of the beautiful um, the way that they. It's, what is it called again? Binding. This, Reveal yeah, binding. That's what it is. So it's a part of the top that flows yeah. over, but it's light. It's yeah. just stunking. So if you have, um, if you have a. So the single cut, oh, quite oh, a lot oh, heavier. Um, yeah. Again, if you go to the Andersons website and look at any of the kind of PRS American sort of custom stuff and up, uh, custom stuff and upwards, it's <laughs> all photographed. It's all weighed individually Wait. as it comes in, so you'll be able to see. But you'll see consistently the single cut will be heavier than the um, McCarty five nine four or. Custom they're all individual whatever. weights because you can never get them exactly the same. No, right? but wood wood weighs. This is substantially thinner, isn't it? Yeah. Slightly different pickups on the single cut. They're, they're what are called the uh, low turn pluses. Yeah. Um, obviously a different bridge. Yeah. Um, but this is the stuff that Paul always tries to re-engineer all the time. Make it better. Make it make it better. Make it better. Yeah. This stuff. You know. It's oh. quite interesting, isn't it? How Paul talks about the bridge. In fact, lots of the component parts that touch the strings, you know, how the nut and the bridge have a note. Yeah. And, and you can change the sort of the mass and the, and the, the makeup of, of and the way components that it to change with the note. The way um, that it, yeah. But he's, yeah, you, you need to... Do you to, remember when he, we had him in and he, he said, oh, that needs to be a bit closer with the Silver Sky when we first saw the Silver Sky. Do you remember that? Yeah, he had yeah. the trick with the, with the oh, wood. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And we go, no, no, no. And he's like, a piece of wood on and then the hammer went, buk, 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 buk. so it all touched, the metal touched the screws yeah. there. He, he and is a like, proper oh, right. modern day, you know, guitar pioneer, isn't yeah. he? Anyway, let's, let's hear this. Mr. Tinker. Definitely more output. And fatter. It's, I know it's, I'm, that for me sounds more like how I think a Les Paul sounds. Yeah. And this to me sounds more like a PRS sounds. Yeah. I think for me. So again, if, you're, if, you like, if you like the sound of a Les Paul, but for whatever reason you've played one and you didn't like the feel of it, then maybe this yeah, is Yeah, or your... maybe you have a Les Paul and you just want something that's a little bit different and different yeah. enough. I mean, then, you know, but this is... Of course, this is the one that's closest to. It is, it's, it's shape and yeah, all that kind the of stuff for sure. So uh, here we go. So. Ah, oh, it's great. Yeah, let's split the coils. See, I, it's 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 all right. I'm not f so much a fan, but I see it's useful. I would, to be honest with you, if you were playing live and it was just you can't be bothered. You, you not can't be bothered. You haven't got the the time or the options. Just pick another Somebody guitar. Who just goes? There are. It's two more tones, isn't it? It's like it's two more, and they're not they're they're not bad tones. They're not like your favourite sixty two Strat tone. It's it's not it's but not it, like but uh, it's a, it's a different tone. Doing? But it's not I far off. He just needed more not... reverb on yeah. that. that was... <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's. So we split the coils. We go yeah. in the middle position. feels really good to play. I really like the neck on these, by the way. It's got like a chunky neck, but not chunky. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? It's uh, chunky, but not chunky. It, am I you right? Know what I mean? <laughs> if we sort of go again, and I, 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 half of me is going, I, I've got to stop doing this kind of Gibson comparisons, but it fit, the necks on these felt to me a tad wider than my Les Paul, that a tad thinner, um, and a slightly different feel. The, 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 you, the the finishing that Paul's using on this still to me feels a little bit more um, shiny and smooth than the finish on a, a my custom shop Les Paul. It is shiny. The fret the works a bit different. outstanding on this. Oh, the it's always fret work is ridiculous. Yeah, it feels great. Uh, and of course, the other thing which people will often criticise a Gibson on uh, is the break angle over the nut and the way the strings, the angle that the strings split off over the nut, are, is less on the PRS, so therefore tuning should be more stable. And now we are in this area. 
Have you seen? Have you seen? Tulips. I like it. No Vintage locking. Styly. Yeah. Vintage style, no locking, just how they used to come back in the 50s, probably even before, um, because if it was good enough for all those guys... <laughs> it's good enough yeah. for me. It's the hey, badu, badu. Right, let's go uh, back pick up. I'm yes. automatically going to roll the tone off a bit because okay. it scares me. So here we are. created a new genre of music <laughs> country jazz it was I think like it yeah was, was it was a little bit sort of it's uh, like it's all junk tree yeah <laughs> i don't know what that was but let's split that coil It's very I know it's bright. not your go, go to style, but back pick up with some gain and play something yeah, a no, bit that's more cool. rock. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> was a seven did it yeah it did the, the feedback was, was a seven it's... this this is uh, out that's of my favorite three, one yeah absolutely the, my favorite these one. three this is my favorite i'm not uh, maybe not the black i kind of like the, the a bit, I yeah like, i love we this is we didn't get any choice over the colors we were just no, sent three I know beautiful guitars yeah well look there that's you it. go that's it um, that's it that's it this is awesome guitar isn't it's it? very very cool isn't it <laughs> I, I can i can kind of see why a player like tim pierce would be drawn to that because it is a bit of a one-stop solution, isn't it? For yeah. A lot of, it's, you know, yes, it would be nice to say I'm going to bring six guitars to every gig and tube, and but yeah. if you could just bring one, these are quite the sort of they're quite they're they're, they're, they're yeah. quite the sort of yeah. Swiss Army knife, aren't they? Swiss of the guitar Army knife of world. the guitar brand of the guitar. Um, world. Anyway, mm. I don't think we need to say anything else, do we? No. There's been lots of playing, and. We said what we need to say. Yep. All the specs well, there are, we are. Course, so are below. 2020, everybody. Believe it or not, 35th anniversary for Paul Reed Smith is making it? guitars. That's amazing, it's isn't it? It's a long time, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, I was only probably two when he started. <laughs> <I> re- <laughs> <laughs> he lied. Uh, he lied. Uh, so there we are. Links in the description below to um, all the guitars that are coming out in 2020, I suspect. But mm. yeah, if you're particularly interested in these, uh, that's the McCarty 594 single cut, and these are the regular McCartys. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Bye bye. I just want you to know <laughs> you're my favorite girl. What song's that? That's uh, one of your own. Uh, no. Okay. That's a Pharrell Williams song. Mm-hmm.